and as we know that we are entering at the qualification session for the F1 Powerboat 2023 Lektober, the qualifying race which uh, to get the best position for the race tomorrow is ongoing. And we have our, our own reporter, Reski Anasto, and video journalist Ferry Ahmad at the venue. So Reski, how is the race situation right now? Yes, Shafira. So the rest situation right now, it's, as we know that it's uh, the schedule. Today is the qualifying uh, race day for the F1 power boat in Lake Toba 2023. And as we know as well that there are 20 uh, drivers or ri racers are participating in this event and they have done the uh, testing out the waters, the first practice and second practice today. But however, uh, there's on the qualifying race, there is um, a trouble because there seems to be uh, the qualifying race is going to be postponed to tomorrow due to the, due to the uh, increase on the, where the wave is getting higher than it's the standard which according to the uh according to the meta meteorological climatological and geophysical agency uh that this in in lake toba itself the range is around five to fifty uh, centimeters for the uh, for the height of the uh, wave but however as today it got into 40 centimeters, which is higher than the standard of the F1 power boat. So the, and also the one, the other reason is because this uh, Lake Toba is located in the in the west um, of in the in the west area, so uh, of the Sumatra. So so I uh, mean that this the. The wind, if I can actually um, explain that, is the wind is actually going from the opposite side that makes the waves get even uh, higher. And this is also the wind speed is gone into nine knots as for the 4 p.m. Uh, today. So that's the re one of the that's the two reasons why they actually decided to postpone the qualifying race to to, uh, to tomorrow morning. But don't worry about it because since it is postponed to tomorrow morning, it means that tomorrow will be uh, the euphoria and the events will be packed for tomorrow. So the people are advised not to miss out tomorrow because tomorrow the, the win, uh, the, the event will be packed there. And we are. We also have already interviewed one of the the racer, which is Sean Torrento from Sean Torrente from Abu Dhabi team, and he said he gave some tips about the section or where to actually see uh, to watch the F1 power boat, especially which section is it. And here is his advice to the public. Yeah, the two yellows and that whole complex in the middle of the race course is what's going to be, I think, uh, most exciting. There's going to be a lot of uh, action there and uh, opportunities to pass. And then the fans will like on the front what's close to them because that's the fast section of the race course. You know, we're going to be doing, you know, more than 200 kilometers an hour in the front straightaway and the side and the other front straightaway. So uh, I think the fans will get a great feeling for the speed and, uh, and how uh, impressive and fun our boats are to watch. Yeah, so that was his advice because... There is a section that, um, according to him, that um, he tested the, out the water and then he tested out the uh, the, the circuit. The circuit uh, facing it's it's the shape is around uh, like an arrow shape facing downwards. And at this at and there is a section at the front that the racer can go and can go as fast as they can, which is around 200 kilometers per hour. So that's really exciting to be, cannot be missed out. And as for today as well, I would like to tell you some about the results of the practices that held since yesterday and today. And the best time last for the, uh, for the practice goes to uh, Jonas Anderson from Team Sweden with less than one minute. 
uh, and able to do 14 laps. And uh, two times Hall of Famers are Sean Torrente from Abu Dhabi is the second, which less than uh, one second away or around 30 milliseconds uh, gap. And the third one is the only female driver or the racer, Marit Stromoy from uh, Norwegia. Norwegia only six milliseconds away. So this, according to the results, it has been a very, uh, a very it's, it's close gap and we don't know yet what's gonna happen. And which is tomorrow, we hope that the weather and the, the wind, the wave is um, it's still on standard because this is the first time ever that happened in uh, Volcanic Lake in Toba, Toba Lake. So we really hope that tomorrow will be uh, the race will continue to go on from the morning to the uh, to the evening and also to the podium. Back to studio. Thank you so much, Rasky, and really hope that uh, tomorrow's race will going smoothly, nice weather tomorrow, and all the people or the audiences will be uh, excited as we are waiting for the results. Thank you so much, Rasky and Ahmad. Take care and have fun in uh, Lake Toba.